What's up, guys? In this video, I'm going to show you how to connect OBS and Microsoft Teams together so you can do all kinds of great video and audio things with Teams, including meeting countdown timers and so much more. So let's get into it. Coming up next. So first of all, quickly, just want to ask you guys to subscribe to our channel. Let us know in the comments below if you are using Teams and if this is helpful for you. If you have any questions, we'll answer them. But that's why it's so important that you subscribe. Not too many people out of the viewers that we get actually subscribe. So if you do it, that would be awesome. How to connect Microsoft Teams to OBS. Why would you even want to do that? Well, first of all, OBS, what, you know, just in case you don't know what OBS is, it's a video production software that's totally free. I wrote a book called The Unofficial Guide to Open Broadcaster Software. You can get it on Amazon or you can download it for free in the links below. And it explains a lot of the great things that you can do with OBS. But with OBS, you can play videos. Uh, you can do, switch between multiple cameras. You can have audio, all kinds of things, lower thirds, titles. And one thing in particular we're going to look at is countdown timers. And you can bring all of that into Microsoft Teams. And so uh, one thing a lot of meeting planners like to use in Microsoft Teams is the countdown timers to let people know when the meeting's going to start, when the meeting's going to end, when a certain person is done talking or should be done with their presentation. So there's a lot of reasons why you probably would benefit from learning how to use OBS, but then how to connect it seamlessly to Microsoft Teams. So the first thing is OBS has this new feature called the virtual camera. And this virtual camera here is really powerful. It essentially can become your webcam inside of any software. So whether you're using Zoom or Teams or WebEx, it doesn't matter. You can hit this start and stop virtual camera button here and boom, you have a virtual camera that you can select inside of Microsoft Teams. As you can see, I have it selected here, my OBS virtual camera. And I can so once I select that, we have the ability to bring anything from OBS into Teams. Now, if that's the old, that may be the only thing that you need, and that's great. And if that's true, then you don't need to worry about the audio side of things. But why would you want to connect audio between OBS and Teams. Well, for example, what if you want to play some background music through um, through OBS into Teams while people are waiting for the meeting to start? Uh, what if you want to play a video clip directly through OBS into Zoom? You can now do that by sending audio in. Now, why would you want to bring audio out of Microsoft Teams back into OBS? Well, for example, you may want to um, be able to record that meeting in HD, but also have lower thirds and graphics and intro videos and outro videos. You might want to stream that Microsoft Teams meeting to Facebook or YouTube, and all of those functionalities are available in OBS, and really, it's limitless what you can do. Now, I have a troubleshooting video that was originally made for how to connect OBS and Zoom, but it's basically the same type of troubleshooting, so if you have issues, check that video out first but definitely ask in the comments below. Essentially what we're doing is we're using a video conference software, Microsoft Teams, and a video production software, OBS, but this also works with vMix or Wirecast, and I will be doing a special video for vMix because you guys have requested it in the comments. Now this diagram I made for Zoom, but essentially it's the same thing. You've got a virtual camera connecting OBS to Zoom, and that or Teams, I'm sorry, and that could be all you do. You just bring a really nice video feed into Teams. And that could give you your lower third. Then you could switch to video clips. And you could do tons of stuff that way. If you'd like to go to the more advanced, complete integration of OBS and Teams, you would add an audio input from OBS into Teams and an audio output from Teams into OBS. And that's what I'm going to show you today. Now, when we do our live streams, you see we, we usually use Zoom, but it, the same process is for Teams. 
when we do our live streams, I have a wireless microphone and I also have a wireless in-ear monitor. So if you like to do presentations and you want to get up, um, you know, there's a couple different ways you can do that. You can have a speakerphone that has a microphone and a headphone output, and you can use that. Or you can use like an in-ear monitor so you're totally wireless. But the benefit of that headset is that people can hear you super clearly no matter where you go in a room. Uh, so it's for, more for like a one-way presentation as opposed to a group. But connecting OBS and Teams will allow you to send a really nice video production into your meetings. And that's what we're doing here. Step one is the virtual camera. We took a peek at that. We'll do that again. Step two is installing virtual audio cables because we need to have a microphone and a speaker connected directly to OBS and Teams in order for this to work. So we'll, we'll go through that. Uh, we'll start your virtual audio um, setup in two teams. We'll install one additional plugin into OBS to really get your audio monitoring system ready. That, that's what really makes this awesome. And then we'll test everything. So first of all, when you set up a Teams meeting, we're going to do this from the beginning, but you can see here on the right that we have our device settings. And so these settings are showing you the audio coming in from a virtual audio cable. I like to have cable A be my microphone and cable B is a speaker that we're going to use to bring the audio from our guests coming from them and we're going to bring them directly into OBS. Now again, you can see this OBS virtual camera and I'll show it to you working here. For example, here's OBS. When I change my OBS output, it changes what is virtually being sent to the meeting. And I can control, the, the final thing we'll look at is our ability to control this countdown timer. So I can, you can do countdown timers in your meetings. And now with our countdown timer, we can, we can control the time that is set for this. And uh, it's really great. Start it up. As you can see there, you can have a countdown, custom countdown timer for any amount of time that you'd like to show an overlay into your Microsoft Teams meetings. All right, so moving forward. So the virtual camera thing is the easiest part. As we looked at, you can start and stop the virtual camera, and you can choose the OBS virtual camera as your camera inside of Teams. Now, installing the virtual audio cables is the part where a lot of people go, oh, this is a little bit more complicated. You can go to vbaudiocable.com slash cable, and you can get this for Mac and for PC. Let's go to their main page. Oh, it's having trouble loading. Well, I just want to keep rolling then. Essentially, you install that, and you're good to go. Then you can start using them. So how are they used? Well, as I mentioned, we're going to use the speaker cable B for the speaker and cable A for the microphone. And then inside of OBS, once you have the uh, plugin installed, there's a really important plugin. Let's find that. The audio monitor plugin for OBS, once that's installed, we can choose any source, any input inside of OBS and say, hey, I want to send that to cable A, which is our microphone input inside of Microsoft Teams. There's going to be a whole blog post about this, so don't worry. I'm going to outline everything in the links below. There's going to be a whole guide. You guys can download this whole presentation. So I know I'm, I can even just feel that it's taking a while for me to get this out to you in an understandable way. But it does work, and it's great. This is the VB audio cable, and so you can get that. And then um, let's go ahead into OBS. Now, for example, this is a, this is a meeting that's going on, let's say. And this is an audio source. I just have a little background music. And let's say I want to send this to Teams, my Teams meeting. I'm going to hit filters because I have the audio monitor plugin installed. You do need that plugin. We're going to hit audio monitor. And we're going to choose cable A. And we can actually do a custom audio mix for Teams. So let's say, yeah, you know, for teams, we want this to be not so loud. We can mix three or four or five different audio sources to send directly into teams, which makes it so powerful. Now we go into teams and we can see the audio meter is moving. 
Now with that audio meter moving, that means we know audio is coming through cable A. So if I go back to OBS and I say, all right, let's just turn this down completely. Go back to OBS, no audio there. Except when I talk. So you can see the audio, my, my, um, my actual microphone's coming through, but then also this nice music is coming through. We can mix and match those together. That is how you send audio through cable A. Now let's say that we want to capture the uh, Microsoft Teams window into OBS. And we want to bring in the audio from our, our far end participants. So we go to window capture. Let's make sure that's Teams window. And we will choose Teams. Now that is showing a um, that is showing a complete mirrored effect because there's no one else in this meeting. So like for example, if I just chose this for example, like a different camera input, um, that won't happen because this team's meeting would generally have like four or five or six people in it. And because my virtual audio cable was the same, there was a little wind there, but that's gone now. So that hopefully that makes sense. So you can capture all of the people in your Teams meetings this way. And then we also want to add a audio input. Well, how do we do that? Well, we could add an audio input right here uh, using the audio input option. And we could choose cable B because cable B you can see here is our speaker output, meaning the people who are speaking through Teams. And we could capture that in. There we go. Now, when we do a test over here, the way to test this is to go into here, go into, I think it's meeting options, uh, or maybe it's actually when you set up the Teams meeting. Let's take a look real quick. Uh, let's go to meet, custom setup, and then I thought there was a way to play. Oh, here it is. We should be able to play a custom audio clip out of Teams. It's been a while since I've used Teams, to be honest. Um, but you should be able to, there's a way to play some audio just to test to make sure it's coming through. But I'm sure it is. I've done this a lot of times. So hopefully that makes sense. And let's just finish up the presentation here because that's about it. Now you just go ahead and test and make sure all the audio is going back and forth. Um, so it's powerful. Get the uh, free copy of the unofficial guide to OBS if you feel like, hey, I'm a, I use Teams a lot. I'd like to spice up my meetings. Take a look at that. Also, I'm going to have a full blog post below outlining everything. This is how to connect OBS and Microsoft Teams together to get some really cool video and audio effects. So hopefully that is valuable to you guys. If it is, hit that subscribe button. We've got a lot of great content coming out. And if you don't like it, you can always unsubscribe, but I think you will. Thanks, guys. Bye.